morning campus. Uh, considering I'm on my own last night, I didn't have a great night's sleep. I camped too close to the woods up there and there was a bird in there making such a racket all night, it was doing my head in. But anyway, well camping done. <laughs> I am still the only one here. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I've changed my plans slightly today. At 10 o'clock, rain and thunderstorms are due. So I've shortened the ride from 150k to 122, just to get me to Eastbourne um, on the beachy head um, peninsula thing. And I'm gonna do a bigger day tomorrow of 171. But it's gonna be sunny tomorrow, so hopefully that's a good thing. Um, yeah, we've got Ditchling Beacon and Steining Borstal, the two main 100 climb climbs today. So we're hit, ticking the red ones today. Uh, we've got another four others. Um, one, one's called Bo Peep Borstal, I think. Uh, we've obviously got Bigner Hill, which I didn't do yesterday. So it's gonna be a soggy day. So I'm gonna get this camp packed up, uh, get on the road nice and early and see if we can find something for breakfast on route, probably when it starts raining. There we go, it's taken me an hour to get ready. It's now eight o'clock. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. Uh, I didn't leave till I past nine yesterday and I think I was awake at like 20 past eight. So a little bit of time saved. Right, let's get on the road. This is the hardest one yet and the first time I've questioned whether what I'm doing this week is actually achievable. That was hard. I couldn't even get the camera out to film any of it. I should have put the Insta on the arm, but I'll go back down. So I'll show you on the way back down. I've still got 900 meters to go. I've had some better breakfasts, <laughs> but there's so much go, that's quite up there. This is, I think, X25, and most of the X lists seem to be really, really steep. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be steep down the bottom. Uh, I didn't have my camera ready, so I apologise, but I, we've got to go back down, so I will show you how steep it is. Down the bottom, there's a couple of little hairpins through the trees. Uh, yeah, that was tough, tough going, um, but rewarded with a view. Nice and food. I've not eaten since about five o'clock yesterday afternoon. So I am in need of some nourishment. That was a, a busy town of Storrington. Uh, I sat out on the roadside there and it was just constant traffic, but I've struggled my way through those pancakes. I've got some food on board and I'm going straight into Chantry Lane, which is X25. Uh, so another X climb. 
I'm hoping it's not going to be that bad. Fingers crossed. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love That one was quite tame in comparison to the last one And you got a great view at the top Oh, I think I'm on the safe bones way now though. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of gravel for a bit. It says 644 meters, so hopefully not for too long. Floating That's Andy Airy, give me a chance to fill up my bottle. But that was an epic ride across there. And for those of you asking, Conti GP 5000s, the all surface <laughs> tyre, absolutely beautiful. Uh, probably shouldn't have been coming down that last little bit, a bit rocky, but some spectacular views up there. And uh, luckily a sportive's just been through here at the weekend, so the signs were still up, otherwise I'd completely missed that. But let's crack on, we got Steining Borstal next. And I think it's only a few miles away. Although it's still not actually rained, so we're not going to mention the R word. Um, and we're all kitted out for it. And it was supposed to happen by now, so I'm not going to complain. Fingers crossed they've got it wrong. I'm in the spotlight, not on to midnight. I want somebody to hold my hand. Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heights. I used to spend time with all my friends, but who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heights. I try to get everyone to see me. I play, play, play my games. But I just end up looking... Oh, I picked up a meal deal at the garages that come through there. Looking for someone would have a picnic, but I'm feeling it a bit now. Feeling a bit tired, which doesn't go well because the next climb is ditching beacon. And I'm overly warm. But as Kev Lake says, if you've got your coat on, it's not gonna rain. So I'm going with that. <laughs> I'm having some uh, mic problems, it won't read the memory card. Yeah, it's done it a, a few times today. Started yesterday in the rain, so I don't know if it's got a bit of water in it. But I am not far from Dish and Beacon. I've stopped to have a latte uh, to recharge a bit. Feeling a little bit better after my sandwiches. But I have actually got a climb before Dish and Beacon. I didn't realise I'm going round in a loop to go up a little climb to come back to Dish and Beacon. I think that might be Street Bostel, something like that. It doesn't look very long, which means it must be steep. Uh, then Ditching Beacon, the famous climb. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can see Brighton from the top. I think that's the, the whole gist of it, isn't it? And then we've got a skirt past Brighton. And there's two more climbs before camp. But we are currently at 66 kilometers. So we're over halfway, just. I am properly bike touring. I am just taking my time. There's a lot of climbing involved as well, mind, <laughs> with all this gear on. <laughs> Everything's straight down into the little ring. Oh, I was struggling earlier on though. I've just got no energy. My legs feel fine. I've just got no energy and I don't know whether it's because I just didn't eat enough yesterday. Um, I've had a big breakfast. I've had some lunch. I'm going to get a coffee in me. I've had plenty to drink. Um, 
but hopefully, hopefully we can get up this bloody big climb. The problem's not the world, it's what you're thinking. The signs of violence while your world is sinking. So get off your high horse head and prepare to see the field. That was a tough one. Not only because it was super steep, but because you had to pick your, the right line. The road is full of potholes, especially on that steep bit. It's just a case of go where the bike takes you, really. That was hard. For a better thing, wanna replace me? I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worse and lonely. Can someone tell me they see good in me? There's good in me. Cause I got doubts, I got doubts, I got doubts, yeah. Sometimes I wanna risk it all since you left me. Struggle, baby, I see pain. Having made my way up Ditchling Beacon, I then followed the road down into Brighton, followed the bike path alongside the main roads for what seemed like quite a while. It was a nice downhill stretch. Went through the centre of Lewis and made my way to Phil Bostel. That was Fur Bostel. I've got Bo Peep Bostel, which is just over there. Then it's camp. But uh, yeah, ditched in Beacon. Don't bother. Uh, I can see why it's in there because it's constantly 10%. There are some views at the top. But man, I feared for my life all the way up there. There were countless broken lights, broken wing mirrors, mirror glass. Oh, there was so much in the scattered side of the road. You're thinking they must try and force themselves past cyclists and end up smashing into the car coming the other way. I mean, it wasn't a particularly narrow road, but yeah, I was scared coming all the way up there. And then uh, we finally, finally come up Furl Borstal. Wanted to go, Bo Peep Borstal. I've been uh, not really feeling very hungry at all today and I've kind of forced some food down, but I have a little craving for chips now. So I'm hoping we can find a chip shop before we set up camp tonight. If not, I've got a pot noodle. I've got a backup. Not much of a backup, but it's better than nothing. Uh, yeah, how many is that? Six, seven? I've lost count. I'm feeling a lot better though. I'm feeling stronger coming up this one than I was at the last couple. So the food's obviously kicking in that I forced down me. <laughs> Who else tortures himself on their holiday? Could just be lying by a pool, reading a book. Anyway, let's crack on.
Bobo Peep has lost a sheep, but people have also lost their dogs. I was thinking that was started with the hardest one, finished with the easy one, and then it just ramped up at the end. That was a bit tough at the end. Did it though? <laughs> what have we got? 14k to the campsite. We've got Beachy Head tomorrow into Eastbourne and then along to Hastings and then we're circling back to the Surrey Hills. So uh, it didn't rain. <laughs> I'm chuffed to bits with that. See Kev, it works. Wearing your coat. As long as you've got your coat, it doesn't rain. <laughs> so we will see you in the next video. Like the journey just begun